so this happened uh, in uh, 1596. So this is way back. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm just going to start way back. Uh, but All right, so, uh, and, and I wanted to talk about the term the John. Okay. Okay. Because uh, I've never used, well, I've heard people say that, you know, and I've said that, you know, jokingly. Yeah, of people. I'm going to the John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, so, uh, so in, in uh, 1596, uh, there was a gentleman uh, named Sir John Harrington. Um, right. And he was the godson of Queen Elizabeth I. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Okay. I and, knew that there was a guy named John. That's yeah, why we said that. Yeah. Uh, and he was uh, like a writer and a poet. Uh, and he uh, was kind of known for um, telling like uh, risque stories uh, of that time. Uh, so he would do translations uh, or interpretations of stories uh, to the court and, you know, they would be laughing. It would be hilarious. Well, he had a uh, translation. I can't remember the name of this poem. Uh, but it was uh, a pretty popular and famous poem at the time. Okay. And uh, Queen Elizabeth I did not appreciate his interpretation, so she banished him from the court. Was it was it bathroom related? Uh, no, it wasn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, but uh, hold on. Uh, so she banished him from the court, and his punishment was to correctly uh, translate this poem, uh, and he was not welcome back to the court until he did that. Uh, so in this time frame, he was working on that. Uh, while in the meantime, she thought that was too harsh of a punishment. So she was going to like rescind his punishment. Um, but he actually finished the interpretation before she could do that. And she went to go visit him at his home uh, and found that he had a like working toilet. Um, so he's technically the first uh, inventor of the like flushable. Oh, toilet. this isn't even something he purchased. This is something yeah, this he just some, made he, yes, himself. He just made, yes. Okay. Yes. So, and she, she was the queen, and she was like, "Why don't I have one?" Exactly. Of those? Okay. Exactly. Yeah. So she had him build one, and then people that came to see it uh, <laughs> referred to it as the John. Like, like, like it's a tourist. Stop. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So, uh, so the only thing about it is it didn't have like what we know now as like an S bend or something like that to prevent the odor, <clears throat> but it was still like a flushable or, you know, a, a toilet, uh, better to use. Uh, so I found that pretty interesting. Uh, I don't know if we're like we in America got that term, the John, but, uh, cause I know that there was probably, yeah, I know that there's been a lot. And, of, and this was an Englishman. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, so well, uh, wait a second, can I ask, um, and, and I hope I'm not stepping on what you're about to say, but no. do you know, uh, uh, why, uh, some people call it the crapper? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. Um, <laughs> there was another Englishman and mm. he was a plumber Okay. and, uh, his name was Thomas Crapper. Oh. And he, uh, started or he founded the, uh, Thomas Crapper and Co. Company in London, mm -hmm. and they sold uh, plumbing equipment, including uh, the toilet. Oh, interesting. And um, it used to be the tank of the toilet wasn't um, like our toilets are like, it's like a, um, there's the seat area and then there's the tank right on top of it. Mm -hmm. But old English toilets used to have the tank up on the wall. Mm. And on the front of that tank, it said, Thomas Crapper and Co. <laughs> because he's advertising his yeah, company, yeah, you know. Yeah. And uh, and when you're standing there, that's the thing right in yeah. your face. So people started <laughs> yeah. calling it the Crapper. Nice. Now, you know, you were talking about John. I feel like John got off light because mm -hmm. they just called the toilet the John. Yeah. But um, Thomas Crapper, they started <laughs> calling uh, the Crapper the Crapper, yeah, yeah. and then they also. <laughs> call it crap yeah <laughs> which <laughs> yeah. really kind of yeah. took his name to a whole yeah. new low yeah. oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah if he uh i wonder if he anticipated any of that <laughs> no i think i think it happened after he gained popularity and then um you know what are you gonna do about it then yeah <laughs>